little bit about uh, you know your farm and, and what you're up to you know how big how many stock units and just just gives a bit of a rundown on that uh, up until recently we've been farming in the Bay of Plenty so um, we've just uh, moved over to the uh, over to the white South Waikato um, Arahina here so 608 hectare um, property uh, with a 350 hectare uh, milking platform and a 250 hectare support block fairly big beast we'll milk we'll carve down 1100 cows um, also uh, running up to sort of 500 replacement animals, yearlings and heifers. Yeah. And also we'll be looking to trade a bit of stock too, sort of four or 500. At any one stage we could be uh, running up to 2,000 head of cattle on the place. So that's a fair bit of um, drinking water requirement. Yes. And um, also for your cow shed. So, um, you know, running water through your cow shed, how many litres a day is required there? While we're milking sort of 1,100 cows, um, we, we could be up to uh, 50, 50 Q, 50,000 Q. Yep. And, uh, and so, um, yeah, there's a, there's a real uh, requirement for water there. The main component of milk is, is water. Yeah. So um, if we can source that, that component for, for nothing, then uh, we think it's a is a pretty good idea putting in the ramp. So. Yeah, and, this, and of course that's the whole idea with the ramp pump. There's no cost of electricity or fuel, it's just the water itself running through the pump. Um, so there's just no running costs at all. We 100% guarantee it, and uh, if there's any problems, um, give us a call and we get them sorted. Um, I don't expect you'll have any problems. Yeah, bloody good. So what we're doing here is we're just installing a, a new six inch ram pump. So we're gonna take you through, you know, the step by step on how this is all happening. Mark just cut the back pipe and cut the bowl in half and the front pipe in half of the uh, existing six inch ram that was here. And as you can see, we've just put this in situ. Mark's just welded a couple of plates either side here. And there's gonna be concrete all through here. And it's gonna come right around in here and create a bowl to catch all the splash uh, from the water that'll eject out of the waste valve. So the next thing to do, which is what Corey's doing up here in the digger, is just to create our one and four incline going up the hill for our first piece of drive pipe. Two. So we've got Dominic out today and Mark's just giving him some instruction over here behind this uh, big concrete tank and he's going to be um, punching some holes through there um, to take a feed pipe around to where our surge tank's going to go and put an overflow in for that and then also a, uh, a drain valve in the bottom of that as well. At midday we've got a concrete truck arriving and we're going to ladle the concrete down to the site with the digger this ram, it'll pump 135,000 litres a day once we're done. So that's a bit of an overall start of day two. We'll see how we end up at the end of the day. Okay, so here we are um, after the Friday on the Tuesday and Mark and I and Nick are just putting this drive pipe in. Uh, we've got six lengths on. We've got another length and a half to go on this. And it's just a flange drive pipe. Bolt them up and uh, we've got a rotary seal just on this, uh, on this side here. And that clamps up together and gives a 100% fit. So what we're doing here is setting up the auto light. What that's going to give us is height difference over distance. So I want to measure off the top of this surge tank to the top of the drive pipe to make sure we've got enough fall so that the water will gravity feed into our surge tank which will from there feed the drive pipe feeding the ram. We've got the drive pipe all joined up to the surge tank and we've got a feed pipe from the concrete 
collection tank over here to our galvanised surge tank and we've plumbed all that up, we've got the overflows plumbed in. So now I'm just going to pull the plug here from our water pickup and the water's going to race through just over here into the concrete tank and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Mark will give me uh, the thumbs up and then we'll crank this thing up for the first time and, and see what we've got. Then as you saw I, I shot around and opened up that valve it, and if you uh, look carefully and listen you would have heard the pump uh, changing tone and slowing down with every beat. So what that's doing, that's just really pressurising that tank, that's just really cranking things up. Uh, we've got a beast here, it, it just wants to pump water, it just wants to haul it, you know, however high it can.